One thing that is extremely important in Microsoft is accessibility, making sure that the content we create is available to all. This was something that always inspired me to do better with my vlog. And when I looked into it, it just seemed to be like so hard, so complicated, which I think is the reason why a lot of vlogger and other people actually don't use it because to actually create those text files with time codes, it's, it's a lot of work. Just as content creation is a lot of work. Now, this year after the big Adobe conference, they announced a better program that you could uh, sign up for it, that it would allow you to use AI to create those closed captions. This was to me always an open thing. Why isn't it coming out of the box with Premiere? Teams is you know, working out and Microsoft has a product that can do it with, if you download it to stream. Then there is like, why is YouTube not offering it? Because like YouTube as a platform would benefit of it, but that all doesn't matter. Premiere does do it. I'm not a specific big customer of it, so I'm super grateful and thankful that they added to me. And so it's as simple as just a few buttons to basically go and say here, create captions. You see, if I already done it, it identifies speaker one or two. In my vlog, it's usually just one speaker, but you could name the speakers. And then you can scroll, scroll through the transcript that it created. And then you can basically say create captions. Once you have the captions created, it looks like this. And if you jump to a specific line item, then you see the text here. Now, the first few times when I used this feature, I didn't really take the time to go back and check everything. I was like, oh, this is awesome. I trust AI, pack it up, upload it. So if you look some of the first videos that I've used it, you will see some typos. My pronunciation is not always that good that AI knows exactly what I'm saying. So now I actually take the time and scan line by line and make necessary changes. You could also adjust font, color, position, italic, whatever you want. You can format it, you can spend as much time as you want with it. But honestly, this is a huge time saver and I am a big fan, inspired by the trainings we received at Microsoft to really make the information accessible to everybody out there. And so I will try to put a link down below where you can sign up if you want to test it. You will have to use the beta program of Adobe Premiere Pro, so not the full, like, the stable version, let's put it this way, which hicked up some of my workflow because I use um, Adobe Audition for some of the music stuff. And so I also needed to have the better program there because I couldn't just the seamlessly say, edit sequence in Adobe Audition. But other than that, it is super easy. And then once I'm ready to export the video, I can just go to file. Let's select the sequence first file export media and then you can hear captions you can say burn the captions into the video or if you upload it like what i do is create a sidecar file which is like the srt file format that youtube for example recognizes it will create the text file that you can then upload to youtube and so if you haven't done it by now you can check it in this vlog episode right now just click on close captions on your youtube player and you should see the text sign up with what I'm saying. And so if you're a content creator, if you make content for your company because you work in marketing or you're a technical content creator, use this functionality. It's really awesome and I'm sure it's gonna get better. So sign up for the, for the beta test, for the preview and a big shout out to Adobe and thank you for admitting it. I really love it and it does help quite a bit to make the information or to make it easier for me as a content creator to make it accessible. And with that, D. Dave Kurt out.